Hello everyone, my name is Haley. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. The day has come. We're gonna be taking a tour of my Flamingo Crossing two by two room, like apartment style room. The two by two means that it is two bedrooms, two bathrooms. There are other room styles in the Flamingo Crossings Village. If you are applying to the college program or you did get into the college program, congratulations and good luck. And this video is just going to be showing all the fun decor -y things and stuff that I added. I'm not going to go through every single thing that my roommates and I bought for the kitchen area and stuff. I'm mainly going to be showing my side of the room with a brief overview of what the living room kitchen area looks like. If you need any measurements, I'm going to have some typed down below in the description if you're looking for those kind of things. But otherwise, this is going to be a very general room tour, maybe some decor inspiration and just kind of showing where I'm living while I'm on the Disney College program. So let's head out to the living room. So everything starts right here at the very front door. We just bought a basic little doormat and everything. Now again, this whole area is a shared space. So I'm not going to be opening all the cabinets showing all the things because it's a shared space. So when you come in the door here, we have my other roommate's room right there. And then we're going to keep turning all the way around. So when you walk into the door, this is what you see very like spacious living space very spacious time as you guys can see there's lots of um, lots of space in this area so we love we love that there's space to hang out space to do things all that fun stuff there is a light switch here which controls um majority of our ceiling lighting right. which looks something like that so of course you walk right into the kitchen itself and that has lots of fun things you do get these two garbage cans here but we did buy a bigger one bought a little mat here just other little kitchen things you get a super deep deep sink all that fun stuff you'll see lots of flamingo stuff around which is also really fun little drying mats and things little keurig fun stuff course you get the oven dishwasher cabinets microwave all that fun fun stuff there is space up there which is really nice for some maybe extra extra things but there's lots of cabinet space like there's lots of space to put things um as far as like just shared kitchen items like cannot complain about um the space that we have like it's, it's wonderful it's perfect for what we need for what we use all that fun stuff so i'm gonna actually take a step back here to the front door once again and just looking straight ahead of me kind of have a little hallway-ish style area so this first door is actually going to be the washer and dryer so you can see there are washer and dryer we just keep some little extra things up there a little broom swift for a little drying rack when we need it all kept in this area and then of course we have a little thing to adjust the temperature all that fun stuff and then this next door does not open it's like a little utility kind of closet thing and we hung up a little whiteboard so we can put all of our schedules on there just to see where everyone's at see how everyone's doing and um who can hang out when and all that fun stuff because it is easy to miss each other because we're all on very different schedules so again we have those trash cans and stuff right here as we walk through you can see outlets usbs we love to see it and then we have the living space, which has a couch and a little um, coffee table, little end table, all that fun stuff. It's a really big couch. Again, great area for hanging out. There's this little bar top here on the counter, which has a total of four chairs. So there's so many places to sit and watch TV and hang out. So panning back up here, there's the front door. There's my roommate's door, laundry room door, utility door and stuff. We'll make our way over to that corner a second because my room is that way. You can see just wide open space, really, really um, nice. It's not like super, super like big, big space, but like for what you need, what you use it for, it's it's wonderful. Um, we added some fun little little treats and things to the tables here. We did buy these pillows to add in, and we just hung up some little basic stuff. You know, we have plenty of time to add to it, but we're just trying to keep it pretty simple plain kind of mix matchy fun stuff so we can all contribute to that we do have three very big windows here with a very nice view out that get that florida sun out there on our little end table of course we've got tissues little candies all the little fun stuff 
and we just have a little like community bin down there with like chips and just shareable things more outlets plugs everywhere and then you do get this little like entertainment stand along with the tv in the room which is also really really fun got little light up flamingo got little pool floaties dvds and record player which fun times and little games and fun stuff like that so we love to hang out in here watch movies again good space good time all around all around so just you know really nice i mean it's, a, it's an apartment basically apartment style time so we're gonna make our way back over here i forgot to point out we got some more lights over here. There also is a ceiling fan with little adjustable things. And if you are coming here, just as a note, one is the fastest and then it gets slower the higher you go up. I was a little confused by that, but you know, there are some different lighting options there, which, which they control that ceiling fan and stuff there. And then there's another light there as well. The blinds lift up and you can close them with little spinny thing there as well so you can do lots of fun stuff with that lots of you know natural lighting we also have these little lights up here from that switch over there which is you know nice to have just some soft light if you know you're just trying to be quiet and get a little snack or something like that so again lots of good space over here and then we're going to turn back around this way again just really big just square area where you walk in and people can kind of go in and out and be in the kitchen and all that stuff so no one's really bumping into each other so then we have our fridge and every month they drop off a little calendar by your door so that we can see what activities are going on for the month and you also get a little mailbox key there and then we all divvied up um, one of these cabinets so we each get a cabinet for our own little snacks we'll peek open mine real quick it's a little bit messy at the moment but i did buy these little like wire shelf things with little baskets so i can just put like easy snacks in those to get that fun stuff out then my lunch box is just thrown in there but you guys can kind of see that little idea it is organized um for me at least i may be on the video but in person everything's pretty straightforward but there's a little tip there and then this shelf does actually move so you can adjust that however you wish so there's that and then um also wanted to mention too that the freezer has an ice maker so that's a good little tip and i mean it is a big it is a big fridge like it's for people like it's totally totally good so now we're going to turn over here to my door we have our names hung up on the door here as well just for funsies and then this door does also lock too so i'm mainly again just gonna be showing my side here which is going to be over here so we have um two sinks which is wonderful so this is my sink again over here got subtle little mickey things little summery things all that fun cutesy little time super big mirror here as well nice lighting it's a good little space to get ready in the morning. You can close the bedroom door and just kind of get ready if you need to. And everyone also gets a little medicine cabinet too. So it's nice. It's got so much storage there. And they also get three little cabinets underneath um, the sink. So I bought, again, little drawer stand stuff just to make everything so, so simple and easy. I personally love the way it's organized. But hey, you do you and then coming again straight in from that last door we have this door which is going to have all the fun stuff <laughs> we got the shower and you know all that fun stuff and then there's a little cabinet there with some shelves in it which is really nice got two little towel bars there just everything you need inside and then we did buy these little rugs and stuff they don't come with that um just as a little note in case you were curious and then we also have a little garbage can there and then we're gonna there's the door we just came in through, there's kitchen stuff out there, and then this is going to be the entrance to the bedroom. All right here, so again, it is a shared bedroom and there is a little divider. So this first side is actually my side. So we're just gonna head in here and take a look. Um, we did get a little humidifier and stuff because humidity fun times. Um, we just put that on a little stand here just to you know, have the air circulating a lot. Got a little garbage can down there for all the little garbage things and then i hung up my 50th anniversary calendar little 50th print that i got on the 50th along with cute little inspirational signs and things we also have these light switches these two are for the lamps next to the bed and then again we have a fan and then this is the light for um the fan so um that is 
great, works really nice. So then backing up there, you can see the area that we just came through. So you can see all the little knickknacks and things here. And I'm actually gonna start on this wall here to the right. I left space for the door to open. And then we have this area kind of inspired by flower and garden, just the Florida, the greenery, all that fun stuff. So this is just a little section for hanging up all the fun things that are currently going on. So these little grass patches are actually from the Target dollar bins. Um, I got them about like in April or May sometimes. They're like two or three dollars a piece. And I got six of them. That way I can make little panels out of them. And then I ordered these little magnet boards and the cork board from Amazon. That way they kind of fit the size. And I buy a bunch of magnets at Disney so that way I can hang up clip up things and just display all the magnets that I get. And then here's a little cork board over here. Just got some fun little pictures and buttons and all that fun stuff that's been going on recently so we love to see that and then moving over here i hung up some prints that i got um from dear friend over on instagram and then we also here have the dresser and I, the top of it is a little bit of mess but we're having a time so we got the dresser here i got little dividers and stuff for it. i'm not going to open all the drawers but these actually do come apart which is interesting um so again you do you however you'd like to do that i also brought this little ottoman thing that i keep like blankets and stuff in so we have that going as well and then over here we got little trinket trays little you know free items we've gotten little signs and all that fun stuff orange bird things and just little knickknack things for display so that's the current little setup over there and then i'm going to turn around again there's the door we came in and then this is my side right here i just went with simple white bedding so i can get all kinds of colorful things to match it this is my kingdom of cute little blanket and actually right below that i'd like to point out that you do get a drawer and it comes um with this little like clip here but you do need to provide a lock for it if you'd like to have a little locking drawer i think that's nice just to keep all those valuables in there's a little handle but again you do need to have the lock for it but that's just good to have to know all that fun stuff so looking up here, this is my, this is my side of the room. We'll start here up on the divider. I hung these little string lights all around and they're on a timer. So as you can see, they just turned on for the evening. And I was going with the Disney Parks theme, of course. And all these prints are from the Wonderground Gallery. So we got all those hanging up. So very beautiful. And the other fun thing is that this um, frame, is. these are actually like, it's metal so i've been hanging magnets um across those and i ordered these little magnetic hooks on amazon to hang the lights and little keychains from so note this is all magnetic you can see my roommate actually put some little shoulder magnetic pals kind of across the top here but yeah magnetic magnets fun time great deal um so you can see lots of fun magnets that i decided to add in um through here and now i have more space to put magnets too along with my little magnetic board I do plan on picking up more of the Wonderground Gallery prints and hopefully by the end I have this all filled up. But for now this is what we're dealing with. So you can see fun little keychains there, figment hanging out, and then these are my current arrangement of plushies. We have one that looks like my dog Kylo, we got little Squishmallow friends, my favorite little Janet, Doc Ondar, of course a flamingo, and some Mickeys there hanging out too. So I look forward to expanding that little section as well. Now turning up the wall here again more magnet times that I'll be filling up, I'm sure. And then we have my little ear wall. I just use little command strips with little um, hair ties to wrap around those ears to hold them up. So that makes it easy to take them down, use them, move them around, all that fun stuff. So you can see I did four rows of four. So I can have 16 ears up there. I could hang up more if I like to, I just decided it's probably a good number um, to, to do. And then I also hung up a little whiteboard here so I can keep track of all the fun events and things going on. And then making my way down here as well, we have a little fan that I set up. And then I actually bought this white stand um, because you do get this little rolly desk that I'll talk about in a second. But I wanted to have my clock and everything set up. So I didn't want that to be moving around and I like having a little fan and stuff there as well, so I bought this little stand from 
Target and that way of course I can display more things because you guys know me with my shelves. So put some more magnets, fun little keychains, things there, little coasters, little magic band, little pictures, all that fun time. And then I'll just peek in these little shelves real quick too so you guys can see I'm kind of hanging up some stuff. My little dinosaur friend from Dino Land. I just keep switching out like the park plushies. They kind of get a turn in the shelf. And then we got just little plants. This is my little Muimo section little cards and gifts and things. I did bring Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Donald, Daisy, and Pluto. You can see the lights kind of wrap around in here too, so they kind of light up as well. And then I did purchase the Nuimo closet from uh, Cast Connections, so that's really exciting. So I got some more of their outfits hanging up they can pick out and dress up to the parks as well. Down here, got little phone soap thing. Um, got those little coin medallions for the 50th. There's where the little light pack drops down. And then I just hung up some more pictures. Got little picture frames. Gonna keep adding to that again as we go. Got this little area of books and journals and all that fun, fun stuff. Down here I just keep kind of some extra things, little like lotion stuff. And then that, that bag is all Nuimo's outfits back there. But hey, it's a, it's a fun time. And then this little bin I just keep all of my hats. And then we're gonna take a look here under the bed. Got a little extension cord, although there is um, USBs and plugs like way in the back um, down there. Got some little lights, got a little bin for sweatshirts, got suitcase back there. There's lots of room under the bed. Um, I have lots of boxes kind of folded up from whenever I moved here. So that way, you know, I can just keep them from where I move out. So all that fun stuff. Um, got some fun little towels, got a little camera bag back there laundry basket and then there's that little locked bin and then I did buy a little fun rug to kind of match my pastels bring that color back from home um from that room and then I found these cute little kind of basket um lights they are also on a timer from Target and then I hung up some more pictures here on the side of this little stand and you can actually see them through the mirror which we'll get to here in a moment I hung up this little hook thing for all of my lanyards, of course, carry on that ID, all that fun stuff. I ordered this little earring holder on Amazon for all of my little earrings, and they fit perfectly on this little wall right here. This is that little light I was talking about earlier. There is a light switch that does control it um, by the door, but there's also this one here that controls it too. And there are little USB plugs right here, so that's also great for your phone if you do not have an extension cord or anything. And then I just wanted to continue that little pastel theme going. Got a little orange bird shoulder pal hanging out there as well. And then I do use this USB to plug in this little light that I bought, which of course fits the vibe. Do what you love. So we love having that there. Adds a nice little aesthetic there for the evening. Looks so, so cute. And then turning around this side, we have the closet, which has two big mirror doors, which we love. We love that. It makes the space feel a little bit bigger. And of course, that way you can see your outfits. See, I can see more of the stuff hanging on that side. I don't know. I personally like having the big mirrors so I can check the, the outfit. And then again, they got little sliding doors here. So of course we got clothes. And then down here, I actually bought a little um, shoe rack. So I got all my shoes and, and all then that. over here on the other side, I have a little step stool because um, I have a little bin with all of my park bags. There's lounge flies, other little reusable bags and things. I also brought this little drawer set because I wanted to bring my art stuff with me. So that's all in there. Little scissors, pens, all that fun, fun things. Got some little jewelry items. I have this little stand that I keep like batteries and like kind of extras in like hand sanitizers all that fun stuff and then looking up here there's kind of where my clothes end and then i hang all my costumes right here but i'm washing them at the moment and then here i have this little um other jewelry set little hanging thing for necklaces that way you can see them all but they don't get tangled i also hang up all my little hair clips here too so they're easy to see and match with same with my belts and then i bought this little um cube thing from target and i like to just set like these are all tank tops these are non-disney shirts and these are disney shirts just kind of stacked in here they're personally a lot easier for me to see and i just i just like how that goes, how that works for me. I got a little bin there of hair ties right on top. So, so backing up here from the closet, this is the little desk slash nightstand that you do get with the room. This is 
where I just leave it. I mean, there's enough space between the rug and the bed that I can just walk through right here. And it's just like another little side table. Not ideally where I'd like to keep it because I do have some pin banners hanging up there that we'll look at in a second. But for now, this is where it's going to be. So I just have a little coaster there. I lay out my outfits here for the day. You know, drop my lanyard, my name tag here. So that way it's all ready for the next day. And then again, my work bag, I just set down there just so it's not in the way of walking time. Um, but it's easy just to, I can just pick it up and go. And then when I'm not working, I actually put it back in the closet just because I've worked tomorrow. It's sitting there so it's ready to go. And then back on this front little section here, these are the current pins that I have collected and traded for on this little journey. And I bought these pin banners um, on Amazon and they do hang perfectly on this little section um, between the kind of corner of the room and the closet. So I'm aiming to do like cast member-ish ones, special moment ones there, and then these are more ones that I traded for, some of them that I bought as well, but I don't know, I'm I'll, I'll move them around I'm sure at some point and actually sort out the theme, but that is going to be my Disney College program room. I hope you guys all enjoyed this room tour, I was so excited to show you guys all the decorations and I look forward to adding more to it as I go. So I'm sure I'll show it again towards the end and maybe I can do a video showing my like favorites and must haves that I'd recommend you bring on the college program. I just think I should experience it and live in it a little more before I do those kind of things. But overall, I hope this video helped you or I just hope you enjoyed watching it. As always, remember to do what you love and do what makes you happy and I will see you all next time. Bye.